Hello from New York City, I'm Nadia. This is The Rundown, where I like to interview people I admire on the run. It is a scorching hot day in New York. I almost want to jump in that fountain. Um, but I'm super excited. I'm going to go and meet up with my friend Sarah. She is a triathlete. Uh, she's super inspiring. She lost her, her leg at the age of seven years old, but she has never let that stop her. She is so, so, so most motivating and inspiring and awesome. We met while training at Nike Training Club, uh, doing some push-ups and abs work and things like that she's amazing so let's go Sarah I am so happy to be running with you in Central Park this is awesome <laughs> thanks Nadia for today is it park one of the places you run when you come to New York absolutely yeah. Central Park is like one of the crown rule jewels of this city <laughs> and as a runner it's great to get not have all the traffic lights <laughs> and get a bit of green and it's really where all the runners come together, so you get to see your running friends too. When you lived in New York years ago, you went yeah. to school here, yeah. were you running back then? I yeah. started running as a kid, yeah. age 11, yeah. and I did my first New York City Marathon at 21 years old. Amazing. So, I've been at it for over 20 years. Why does it give you that nothing else does? Running makes you feel alive. You know, and, and the city's a stressful place, oh. so it's a good stress reliever. It's just a lot of fun, makes you feel good. Yeah, I love running. What do you travel the world doing triathlons? Which I don't think I could ever do a triathlon, but I've learned with running, you never say never. Yeah. <laughs> what keeps you at it though? Like you, you have to train so hard, and I imagine push through some really incredibly tough moments. Yeah, oh yeah. That's one of the things I love about sports though, is that you learn lessons through your running, through your triathlons, that teach you to be tough in life. So, you know, part of why I got into triathlons was because I knew the running's a lot of pounding, and I needed to be a cross trainer. Yeah. That I needed to find, do that cross training, do that non-impact. Yeah. So, it was good to learn how to swim and how to ride a bike. A runner? No, you started no. Running when you moved here. Started running when I moved here. Really? Yeah. Came to New York looking for Meryl Streep. Found a <laughs> love of running. <laughs> I love it. So the CAF Foundation, it's the CAA. So the Challenge Athletes Foundation is an organization. Actually, they're kind of the reason I left New York. Yeah. I took a job with them out in San Diego after September 11th. Yeah. But I was passionate about what they do because. They give away running prosthetics. Yeah. They give away racing wheelchairs, basketball wheelchairs. So like any sports equipment that a person with a disability would need yeah. to participate in sports. Amazing. And my running leg costs about 36 grand. Jeez. Health insurance does not cover it. So if you want to run, you'd have to shell out 36 grand. So probably makes you feel better about how much you spend on your shoes. Yeah. But, but I knew that I wanted to make sure I was part of the solution to help other people yeah. get access. So tonight we have our fundraiser in New York City. We're going to raise money to change more lives. Yes. Great foundation, a great organization to support. All right, so we're going to do something kind of funny here. What are we going to do? So we're going to chest check my leg because. Okay. And you're welcome to film. Do you mind if I? Okay. Yeah. Challenge is um, the weather changes. Yeah. So, so the humidity is just making my legs so it's like slipping off. Oh. So that's part of the problem. So what happens is you can just get tons of oh, sweat. Wow. So I just sweat more than I do in California because the humidity. So weather is a big part of it, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's why sometimes when I tr tr race in other places. I gotta like think about how my body's gonna react, but also my leg. And so, since it hasn't been too humid in California, um, I haven't had where my leg is slipping off, but I'm just sweating way more here. It's a yeah. super hot day in New York. And so this is what I have to do oftentimes when I'm racing in like a humid race. I just have to like wipe down the sweat, put my sock back on, and then keep going. So, uh, but everyone's got, a, a, I say, their own hitch and their get along, right? Yeah. And this is mine. So, anyway, we're all dried off. It's amazing. Hit it again. You're, I, 
Yeah. And in the winter, what happens is I get really cold and I have uh, lots of uh, circulation issues. So I have to put heat pads in there okay. so my leg doesn't get super, it doesn't get frostbite. I've gotten frostbite. So um, it's just really sensitive. And yet you still run. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I don't want to look back at my life and say, God, I wasted my body. Is the triathlon your biggest achievement, would you say? Well, what makes you most proud when you look at all the things you've done? Yeah, I think, you know, being the first woman on a prosthetic leg to do Hawaii Ironman yeah. was definitely one of the highlights, you know. One of my biggest achievements. But now I'm training for an even more insane race. <laughs> and it's called the World Marathon Challenge. Oh. <laughs> Going seven marathons, seven days, seven continents. So Whoa. That's my next one. When is that? This January. Oh. <laughs> We'll be sending you lots of positive vibes yeah, for that. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing.